we're here. Welcome to episode one. Who knows? Is the memory? Is this the memory card for it? No, that memory card doesn't work. Oh, all right. Fifty one or fifty one. Fifty one. Big fifty one. <laughs> wow, one fifty one. Because on Are we one fifty? Oh, really? Yeah. 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 yeah I think you're right. That's yeah. three wow. years. Yeah, Almost. man, and longer because we we take big breaks. <laughs> big breaks. <laughs> so, Give we'll me look, a break. Give me a break. Take break. about a year off the rad dude cast. <laughs> <laughs> we like big breaks. We get a lot. This is my second show ever. Yeah. <laughs> I took a giant break. I didn't do the first three years. <laughs> yeah. You took the biggest of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Remember that we sat down one day and you were like, hey, do you, got, do you want to do the rad dude cast? And I went, sure. And then I went to Italy for three years. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nathan Stint in Tuscany. <laughs> As a vineyard developer, yes, I was making I was making wine and oh. also tulling the land or tilling tilling, tilling. the land or tulling tilling the land uh, uh, tully. Yeah, tully tully blanchering the land <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, getting it ready for the wine <laughs> the people. Oh God, the big grape show. Put that air two thousand eleven. Grape You're just show. Big grape show. The old grape show. Every nine years, Italy does a grape show. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan was at the forefront of that. I was at the forefront of the grape show. I counted the grapes. Because here's the thing that Italy does. I don't know yeah. if you know this, but Tuscany, I this mean, why I couldn't us. do the cast for three years. Mm-hmm. And you go, right, and you you make a big jar. You fill the town with grapes. Oh. Put the microphone in your mouth. You fill the <laughs> town with grapes. And oh, then the yeah. only way you can get into Tuscany, <laughs> you have to guess how many grapes there are. <laughs> and whoever gets it right, you walk right into the grapes. Yeah, only seven people in all of Tuscany. It was like two guys. Yeah. <laughs> it was me, and I, I didn't even get it right. I counted them, and I forgot. Sure. I didn't write it down anywhere. It's, it's like 40 billion <laughs> grapes <laughs> to fill Tuscany. Come on. You're looking at too many grapes. Way too many too grapes. Too many to count so anyways, guess. That's why I wasn't here uh, for three years. But I'm happy to, I'm happy to be here there now. We well, Anthony walked over. <laughs> I turned the air conditioner off so we don't have the so we don't have the sound. He it's just too gets hot, up and then just literally pushes any button. Yeah, <laughs> did not push the air conditioner button. He pushed like blow what up. I turn on. Open the window. Open the window. I didn't. Find no, it it's too hot, hot outside. Bottom right. Bottom right. Oh. I have the remote in my fucking I hand. On. I turned on the turn timer. The fan way down. Can't you jack the fan way down? I don't know. I don't this know. thing <laughs> is barely an AC unit. <laughs> You just pushed. Oh, you just broke my air conditioner. Buddy, can't you just no, turn I turned the it fan. on. Just turn the press the fan, not the temp. Fan. The fan. Can't you just uh, isolate right. the noise? Yeah. Right now, Post? You got it on. what I'll do. I'll isolate the noise. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even <laughs> get headphones to work for you guys. I'll isolate the noise. <laughs> yeah, you know, take an extra minute. Oh, uh, oh yeah. You know? Well, we're here with Nathan McIntosh. Yeah, He's sitting in uh. for Brendan as uh, Brendan is, as we know, in space working with. Elon yeah, Musk, the great the Elon Musk, Elon Musk, the 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 loop, how the time loop, time yeah. Loop. How did Elon Musk not come out with a cologne? The Musk of the Musk, Musk Man, Musk Man. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you think that about the Christopher Walken shoes? Oh God, well, yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't you do Walken Walken's runnings? Walken's well, well, Walken's running. Well, yeah, that'd be walk-ins. Christopher runnings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher. Well, I don't know. They make walking <laughs> shoes. No, I'm saying they should have. Oh, he, he should have. Yeah, you're the Christopher right. Christopher yeah. walking shoes. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Somebody at some point in time. That's probably a sketch somewhere. Christopher Reed glasses. Read the glasses. No, no. The Reed readers. for saxophones. I think he's Christopher Reeves. He was. Reeves. All right. The, he Reeves. was Reeves. Reeves. <laughs> I think he was Reeves. Christopher Reeves. Weaves. <laughs> yeah. uh, Christopher uh, Weaves. He sells right. weaves. Yeah. Oh, that's great stuff. Da-na. What's the Superman theme again? I, I kind of mix it up with Star Wars. Starting the good part. The good part. Get to the good part. I like to do the whole movie. <laughs> That's like 20th Century Fox. Then it's uh. Da- and it's Lois and her dad. Type 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 type. I don't know minutes. how I'll finish this article. Da, 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 da. Nope, that's, oh, no, that's Jones. Exactly. John Williams, they all, like, when you start doing one of them, you could Go easily dip lane. into Star Wars, Indiana Jones. He's doing something else over there. What are you talking about? I'm doing the movie. <laughs> He's just talking. Just, I'm doing the movie. phone I calls. Go lane. Lane. you got to keep your ear, ear you out say? on him. We'll be talking. He's doing a whole other thing. Look, man, i got to get used to this whole thing again anyway. I've been gone for three years. Yeah, man. This man's <laughs> been grape hunting yeah. for three years. Do you know how hard it is yeah. to catch a grape, by the way? Uh, tell me. So a lot of people think they're just on a vine. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> they live in caves. Absolutely. They, 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 they feed on the blood of warthogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Because people only know grapes 
U.S. grapes. They you, don't know wild grapes. U.S. grapes. <laughs> U.S. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> yeah, man. They don't know wild grapes. You. Lazy grapes. Lazy grapes. Hanging on a vine. <laughs> Singing grapes. They got all kinds of grapes. <laughs> Milk in the system. Yeah. <laughs> Getting checks yeah. from the government. <laughs> Looking at the dollar menu. Wow. Walking in the street slow. <laughs> the Tuscany grapes, though, are at the gym. They're having sex with hotties. Oh, Who? yeah. Hotties with bodies. Ooh, the hotties Tuscany with grapes. Bodies. I don't know if anyone hear me. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know. That's so, if we've just been talking without you the whole time, there was a good chunk where we didn't say anything and you were singing the Superman it's theme. It's happened before. Yeah. <laughs> we did a whole episode one time. With sound effects as a morning radio show. Oh, yeah. Oh, the None famous. of the effects came the through. The zoo crew. So it's just Anthony like, going like, here's the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, we got a caller. Uh, could have been another isolate the noise situation. Yeah, man. I didn't go to school for this. <laughs> well, we it's never this. too late, Greg. B- B&H. Welcome to the 151st episode of the Rad Dude Cats. Did you do the intro? I was gonna, but Nathan just started screaming, and then you started talking about Well, you didn't know the number. I was just saying the number. That's yeah. But do the intro. Do the intro. Welcome to episode 151. <laughs> I'm your host, Brandon Ayer. I'm here with my lovely co-hosts. Anthony. And? Nathan. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, Brennan's going to be furious when he hears this, by the way. Why? Why? He's been trying to get you to say your name uh, for the I intro. Say Anthony. Do you? Yes. He wants me to say <laughs> Anthony last name. What's but I'll never give up my last name, not to the listeners. Yeah, the I'm just known party. as Anthony. <laughs> just Anthony. That's just Anthony. Yeah. I, don't just Anthony. Last, I don't have a last name either. I lost it in uh, Tuscany. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I, yeah. here's the thing. Let me, I'll just Absolutely. do this real quick, and then yeah. we'll go back to the, big, the real, hot topic. We'll get back big news. to the intro. No one just, will let me finish. I'll say it right now. Say it real long. <laughs> but yeah. Tuscany, right? I lost a lot of money in vineyards <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing. I went over there, and I thought, all you need is a scarf. Sure. And some cool yeah. specs. Yeah. And some of those shoes. Sure. But I didn't know that there's a whole bunch of things. So I lost a lot of money in the vineyards. And to, to get out of Tuscany, <laughs> to make the money to get on a plane to come back, yeah. I had to sell my last name. So I, I have, yeah, it's just Nathan now. Wow. Yeah. So you're Sad. telling me there's some goddamn wine farmer out in Tuscany who's Luciano McIntosh. Yes. Throw, throw, wow. he's throw, it's Luciano something McIntosh. He's, yeah, got, yeah, yeah. he's got an extra last name. He's just throwing around. Right. God, God knows Luke who he's doing it. Luciano I, Giovanni. Well, I know what he's, he's doing with it. Just, the videos. same thing that you, you, when you buy anything. You, you beat it. You have yeah. sex with it. He, he keeps my name in a dungeon. Yeah, yeah, and right. he walks down there every once in a while and just pounds it maliciously. No, we got to right. get your name back. I said we do a GoFundMe. Oh, go man. Yeah. Let's do a GoFundMe. Go go me to get Nathan's last name back. By this goddamn rogue wine farmer. Yeah. What kind of name? We get a new name. Okay, how do you get a new name? I don't That's want a new name. It's like if your kid got kidnapped. You don't just get a new kid. Give me my kid back. Yeah, but if they kill I your do. kid, you do. You get a new kid. Jesus Christ. I they killed my kid, but he hasn't killed my name yet. How That's do you know? Because I get letters from my name. <laughs> my name will say things to me. It, it writes, you know, little like little little post-it notes, and it sure. just gets them in on a yeah. on like a freight uh, a freight uh, yeah, ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang exactly. On. I'm alive. Hang on. I'm alive. Hang on. Hang on. He's coming. Hang on. He's coming. <laughs> He's I'm back. Cool. He's beating me. <laughs> so much sex. <laughs> I'm back. Cool. I'll <laughs> make so much sex with me. What are we doing? That's funny. He, he comes. Wine. Fuck you. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, well, anyways, I uh, apologize. The intro. Let's get back to the no, intro. No, no way. Welcome to episode 151, the Rad Dude Cast. Do you have a question, Anthony? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I do. Nathan was talking about, I wanted to tell this quick story. I don't think I've ever told you on the podcast about, uh, Nate, you were talking about you have to get, to get into the vineyard town, you have to guess the amount of grapes that are in the town. Yeah. When I was growing up, we had a candy corn contest every year. Oh, yes, I know the story. And my uncle worked at the rec center. So it was yep. a townwide candy corn contest. You had to guess how many candy corns were inside. In My what? In, in what? A jar? In a jar. In a glass jar. Big glass jar. Candy probably corns hundreds of them in there. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. It's so bad. They trick me every four years. Uh huh. Yeah. They're thinking I like them. Absolutely. I like candy. I like corn. Because people keep giving them out. And you go, I'll take another. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> the fuck did Absolutely. this? And you try to eat them each flavor, and every flavor in there is gross. Yep. Gross, gross, or grossest. Come, hell, yeah. death. Those totally. are the flavors. A pyramid of pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I get up to the thing. I don't know. God knows what I guess. There's hundreds in there. I uh-huh. probably said there's seven in there. Uh-huh. But my uncle rigged the contest, so I'd win. And I know this because he also fixed the Easter egg hunt 
two years later. Oh. Wow. One of the most uncomfortable Jesus afternoons shit. of my life that I had to carry through with this. And, uh, you know, I had friends who were like, I think I'll, you know, look up the hill over there. And I'd be like, ah, you know, I don't know if that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to check underneath this uh, brush. I think it'll a be A brush? Here. You put a nug under a brush? That's a hard balance. Uh, like an underbrush. Oh, like a brush. Like, like a, a brush, like a bush. Like a bushel. Yeah. Hey, the eggs are in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I they're I don't in my know. lunch. Sometimes they're the last place you look. I gotta say, you Italian grease bags, man. Oh yeah, only yeah. stick it together, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, an Italian has my name, and now I'm on a podcast with uh, pure criminals. Oh yeah, we got to get this name back. I wonder how <laughs> we could get it out of there. Maybe a diversion. No. I'll, oh, all right. What does that mean? What How's were you it? thinking? I was thinking I'm just gonna go over there and fucking smack a few people around. Oh wow. I'll this go around and throw my know. muscle around. This guy you should know, yeah. shirtless yeah. all the time, and he's got pecs uh -huh. and arms. All he's doing is tilling land. And yeah, and muscles I'll say, mean nothing to me. Another thing that's tough with that, uh -huh. it's a long flight to Italy. Yeah. So you got to keep yourself geared up and mad yeah. for, like, I mean, you're looking at, like, 12 to 14 hours. Just going, ha! Yeah. Can I get you a drink? Ha! Well, yeah. have, you, have you heard of the new Planet Fitness Airlines? <laughs> no, 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 no. Where no. You, there's no more seats. It's it's oh a oh, oh it's that's just equipment. not bad. circuit so training around the plane. Yes. You're going to station to no, station well, no. to station to station. Well, here's the one thing. The one sure. problem with it is that you have to pick a, a machine like a seat. Mm. So you know when you pick oh, a seat on an yeah. airplane. Oh, yeah, 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 so you're yeah. like, I want chest. So you're but doing chest you're for two doing, hours. You're doing, oh <laughs> man, I love that. You know, and then you got to talk to the guy behind you. You're like, hey man. I, you're, I know you got uh, legs. I got chest. You want to swap out on the plane? <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool. They just started it, but we could get on that. I got to tell you about my vacationing after we go over this. I'll tell you. Anthony knows I'm going where I'm going on vacation. That's great. Yeah, I'll tell you. This is going to be big. It's going to be so much fun. But yeah, I like this idea of just getting a leg machine. You're yeah. doing leg for seven hours. Uh, you oh, come back yeah. and you're just like, how you doing? One jump, you're in through the sky. Absolutely. You're flying through the clouds. <laughs> like over the top when he just drives, <laughs> yeah. uh, pulling, pulling his arm down. You know? Yeah. Like, there's no reason we can't have that. So there'd be maybe, let's say there's 10 people on every flight. And you got free weights up there. Yeah, yeah. You, you're yeah. clanging and banging, and yeah. you're flying to fucking Italy. You yeah. get off the plane, you're yeah. ripped. You're ripped. You're, you're feeling sweating. great, oh, you're clanging feeling and banging. Great. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Just I love that if you try to ask somebody, too, it's like, hey, man, I've been doing legs for two hours. You want to switch? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, this is my seat. I paid for it. <laughs> Made for like, yes. Oh, yeah. the guy goes to the bathroom. You sit in and him, and he's like, hey, "That's my seat." You go. I just want to work my quads, but <laughs> I'm just trying to do now. How many more sets you got left? He's like, "I got two hours." I think it's true. You keep first class the same. Leather seats, <laughs> full service, movies, the whole thing. Yeah. Back there, a full gym. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. just dropping weights, screaming. <laughs> yeah. Workout class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I but, like that. But first class gets off uh, well rested. Oh, we yeah. get off just hot. Jacked. Hot. hot. Heated. Hot. Hot, yeah. yeah. Coming, off, coming off to Ahmed Johnson's theme song. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Also, Grabbing this your is bags. great, too, man. If there's hijackers on the plane, you're ready. Oh, yeah. You're ripped and ready to go. They're first ready, class too, is dead. Though. Yeah. They're, re they're pretty ready, too. Good well, if they're sitting in work That's class, they're point. also working out. <laughs> exactly. Also, yeah. Very good yeah, you're point. not going to take down a plane if you're just working your fucking traps. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in the yeah. gym, it's like a calming thing. Sure. Most, yeah, most times, sure. it's like a, a sort of zen you're focused in. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Buddy, why, what do you got to blow blow up? I mean, working your, blow up your buys, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. They get too ripped. They don't want to hurt that body. No, yeah, of course exactly. not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked so hard. Why am I going to go yeah. see Allah? I got to yeah. get some babes down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, you can tell who the terrorists are by the workouts they do on the really? plane. Really? Yeah. Did you ever see one of those YouTube Al-Qaeda videos that they send me every oh, week? Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got they, it. Those, they do a particular kind of workout. Yeah. It's mainly monkey bar stuff. Monkey bar it stuff. Is. So, like, you the see... ISIS, the ISIS yeah. workout tapes are pretty amazing. It, it's people yeah. working out in, in, in cloaks yeah. in the fucking yeah. desert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, your abs, they must be... They could... Okay, if they wanted to be... They could make money on these tapes. Here's how you... You want abs? I, I love it. You wear a dark sheet... <laughs> and do crunches in the sand, <laughs> holding an AK-47. I mean, yeah. they're they're clearly in shape. Yeah, ISIS. They really they work out like Rocky IV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They do, you know. Uh, they yeah. should be called Sandus. They should be called Sandus. What do you mean? ISIS is cold. Sandus. You're in the sand. Sandus. What about Sunus? <laughs> Sunus. Sunus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know so much. They were thinking about the acronym with yeah. the, you know, more. What does ISIS stand for? Islamic Let me throw this State out there. of inside 
Uh, sisters. <laughs> that's not, I don't think that's true, but I, I will, I'll grow up on it. How about this guy? We got the old smoke shop down here. That before ISIS, they built. Oh, that was great! Oh, it yeah. was called ISIS Smoke Shop, oh. hookah, hookah, hookah Lounge, right? lounge. Yeah, yeah. and then ISIS started getting hot, and they just started writing ISIS, the Queen of like what? Yeah, ISIS the Queen really of the is. Nile, Queen of the Nile. Yeah. You know, and then they were like, "Hey, man, we're not that ISIS." Oh yeah, because but you just a, change it to Gary's. There's an Egyptian, Egyptian uh, goddess, right? Yeah, named ISIS. That's yes. where they got the hookah yes. lounge name from. I'm saying you just you don't do any ice. It's like Hitler, yeah. If you, you had just a place go, called Hitler's before Hitler, yeah, you yeah. don't go. Not that, not that Hitler. Yeah, we're, we're Webster's. We're Webster's hookah lounge now. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Webster. We're just hookah, hookah, hookah lounge. Yeah, yeah. Hookah, hookah. Yeah, yeah. Hookah, Time to hookah. hookah, hookah. You ever thought about? <laughs> you ever think about hookah? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Puff, puff, hookah. pass, baby. You don't like hookah? No, I like weed. <laughs> put hookah and weed. Put weed and hookah. I've done that. No, I don't know what that is. It's I like a good time. you go to a hookah lounge. Oh, I'm just smoking oh, fruit. Oh, not, not I'll the lounge. Eat fruit. But I used to buy. It's a good time though. You ever just put, you never sat there and just puffed? No, I like to smoke weed. I love it. You feel like a, a sultan. Yes. I, I like the feeling. Yeah, well, I feel another, like a, well, a cartoon the villain. Way. Give me a golden chair. Have some women with fans. Yeah, yeah. No I got women in there. There's women in hookah lounge. Oh, yeah. Hookah hookah. And, and they fanning me with a giant leaf. They're not fanning you, but they're hot. And they got tits. And, and they're, they're hot because they don't got air conditioning in that fucking place. And that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no, you know, wh- wh- however your tits sweat, there's no, I mean, I'm fine with it. Yeah, all right. yeah that's what I was going to say. We do that hookah lounge tour in Steinway one of these days. I'd love to go <laughs> Everyone. hooking it up from place to place. Yeah. But what does a hookah do for you? It don't get you high. It don't get you nothing. It's nah, just a, it makes you feel cool. Yeah. It's also just a chill time, man. You get a hookah and a beverage, some food. Yeah. You can spend a fucking hour in there chilling. Yeah, but I like to smoke weed. Buddy, okay, buy a hookah, <laughs> which I've done. I had a hookah yeah. before, and I mixed weed with blueberry tobacco, yeah. and it was so fucking great. Well, I got this. This guy got me this strawberry marijuana. Strawberry heroin? It's pot. <laughs> it's like an oil Is that what you said? No, 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 I said marijuana. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. It's a pen, a weed pen. Oh, yeah, it tastes yeah, like yeah. strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just doing delish. We did this last week. We, we were talking, talking about, about that this? last week, I yeah. Oh. On episode 150. <laughs> 150. I had just gotten off the plane from uh, Tuscany. Oh you yeah! You know how hard it is to get on a plane with no last name. By the way, they really—you yes. know what I mean? They're gonna give you. You're gonna run into some trouble. You hand your passport over, <clears> and they just go Nathan. Yeah. yeah, Nathan what? And I go, yeah. well, here's the story. Yeah, okay. I sold my name, yeah. and it's being maliciously raped. <laughs> Fun fact: people don't like to talk about it. Same thing happened to Prince. Yeah, Prince with the Tuscany. The same guy stole his name. And Pele. And right, Pele. and Madonna. Yeah. And Madonna. Yeah. Madonna sold the name to to uh, to uh, some these fucking guys running these fucking vineyards. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, they'll get you every time. They'll get you every fucking time. Yeah, there's a reason why the word rape isn't grape. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> you're not wrong. We'll take that name. You're not wrong. They'll good, grape good name. rape is, is what they is <laughs> what it yeah. says. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a good rape. It's a grape. That's a. G- <laughs> that's man, a- I, I good raped for this these grapes. Is good rape just sex? <laughs> uh, I think a, probably an argument could be made against it. Order in the court. A, order, order in the court. man if than it, me. If it's a good rape, if everyone's having a good time, it's See, not rape. This it's sounds a sex. like a rapist defense in a yeah, courtroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a good one. Stay, you have anything to say for yourself? Put he your honor. Goes, I mean, was it a good rape? <laughs> this sure. sex you're on? Hey, you're a rapist. Sure. Yeah, but look at this body. Yeah. Hot. You're, I'm a hot you're body. Hearing, you're hearing the words date rape, but focus on the date. <laughs> I took her out. Oh, boy. Did yeah. we not get grapes? Um, well, you you had a vacation you were going to talk about. <laughs> oh, I told you last night. Oh yeah, 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 man. I want to go to. I want to get a nice. We could get a bunch of it's going. We all ship out to Iraq, <laughs> right? We go. We hang out. We get in the mix. You know, we get in the mix of the. We, we're in Iraq. <laughs> I got a map around me. Buildings are blowing up. Like, I kill this country, and I'm like, hey, does anybody know where the coffee shop is? <laughs> you know, and I'm just in the mix. Doing tourist things. Um, I'm okay. So how much <clears throat> is there, is there like a, a package, like a, a bundle thing? You know what I mean? We're like a group tour. We can no do? one's gonna fly you to Iraq. You got to fly uh-huh. over it, and you got to jump out. That is the problem. The coolest place is to go visit. Like you can't go to North Korea. You can't yeah. just go there. No. The coolest places. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, the most like you know what I mean. Like that's a cool thing. Yeah. Oh right. Look, I okay, see what you mean. You go to a, you can go anywhere and sit at a fucking cafe. Sure. Yeah. But can you go to a lot of places and see right. the same haircut? <laughs> forcibly on everybody? <laughs> no. So, but I'm with you. So Iraq, we're gonna fly leader. over it, <clears throat> fly over it, and we just parachute in. Which is a that's a cool little that's vacation. Fun. thing. It's already fun. You're yeah. parachuting in. Yeah, yeah. I Drop parasailed in, you know. in Jamaica. That was great. You had a little kid turn up to you, like, "Hey, little boy," and he was like, "Come with me." And then you follow him, and then his mom is like, "Oh, I get it. Help us!" Ah! 
<laughs> and then you're just like, Jesus Christ, I just wanted to get a... a, a f- I love all these people speaking English. <laughs> well, they learn it for you. It's a tourist center. They, you learn it pretty hard when it's being screamed at you every day by soldiers. <laughs> get the fuck down! <laughs> Drop it into Iraq, and you're you're asking around town for where... where who does a good brunch? <laughs> So you're thinking? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah exactly. Looking for French yeah. toast. You guys yeah. have I'm it. I'm just saying, do you do free mimosas or is yeah. it an add-on? So the Nike town, that, am I going north or <laughs> south? <Nike town. laughs> it looks like a middle of a Transformers fight. It would, yeah. It'd yeah. be, uh, not all parts. There's got to be a part of Iraq that they left you, alone. It's like the hipster part. Right. I yeah. mean, li- I, honest to, to God, I know yeah, I've talk said this the before on many fucking places, but sure. Brooklyn to me looks, looks like Iraq. There are parts of Brooklyn... Then I come oh, out of the I subway and I go, mean. you got to be kidding me. This got to be Kosovo. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> this, this car's on fire. These buildings look like the warehouse that Batman uh-huh. threw Jack Napier into. Oh, yeah. yeah. And where the fuck are we? You Axis know? Chemical. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they must uh, – they, and they turn those places into, into hip little shows and yeah. nice little chocolate. All the people dress like Jack Napier. They do. There's a bunch of people with hats. Yes. Asking people if who's uh, Jack Napier. He turned he, Jack Nicholson. He turned oh. into the Joker. Oh, okay. Tell yeah, people yeah. think about the future. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You ever dance with a devil? Uh, so you go over there, right? So, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Iraq has the same sort of thing, where people were like, "Hey, look, we could turn this, uh, this, uh, oh, this sure. burning tank so into a gen- comedy show." We gentrify Iraq. Yes. That's how we get I, it. I, I, yes, I think it's probably already started, but I think we help the cause. We just send in. Thousands of young college kids. Yeah, yeah drop them in. Li- drop them in there and go. Just live. Yep. Just and then everyone else will be like, I just get annoyed and they uh-huh. won't kill you. But they'll just be like, ah, oh, we're just really annoyed now. They keep judging my music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come with record players, <laughs> cupcakes. Yeah. They keep they keep telling me my coffee is weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get a bunch of people that are going to go over there and be like, David Bowie's the best. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta have that, you know. That's yeah, gotta be an old, no, it's not. an old lie. We have to keep yeah. telling ourselves. Yeah, we'll put, put an Apple store in there. If get David a line Bowie going. didn't wear makeup, uh-huh. nobody would have cared. You think? I do. No, his music is way better than his outfits. It's fine. It's fine. What are you out of your crazy head? <laughs> it's Come on. Fine. What, what's a good one? Lots of good ones. Um. Either way, I'm back. I'm on David the, Bowie uh, having a good time. I like, I'm David I do like fame. Bowie. Fame is good. Fame is a good song. Fame. I want to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn how to fly. Fame! That was a great one. I don't know if that was him, though. What it, one Night in Bangkok, is that him? No. No, that's a good one, though. One Night in Bangkok is... Uh, is uh, I know the name that of that band. I know who it is. One Night in Bangkok that song is pretty makes racist a if you really hard man it. humble. Yeah. That one? I can't believe that's... A, what am I He's thinking He's China of? Girl. China Girl. Yes. Your that's beautiful China Girl. <laughs> China Girl. I am a real China Girl. <laughs> Fight Don't for you your too. China. Where are my dishes? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like David Bowie for real? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I was kind of fucking around, but I really don't... Uh, you don't think he's as important as he's, he's treated? He's he probably is. I am yeah. very ignorant when it comes to music. I will listen to every rapper, never use words again. But but uh, <laughs> but I don't I don't think that everybody that says they like David Bowie likes David Bowie. That's what I, that's oh, what. Oh, of I, course. There's, there's a lot right. of losers walking around with T-shirts right. and they're like, I love every. You, you don't stop it. Yeah. You're 12 years old. Yeah. D- David Bowie didn't do anything while you were alive. Fuck right the fuck off. That's that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm afraid of Americans. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm afraid of the world. That's him and who? It's David Bowie and no, him. but who? It, 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 that's a band. Um... Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. really? No, no, no. But oh. it's it's it, it, it's Trent Reznor, somebody. Maybe. It's somebody in that. Uh, yeah, 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 Trent yeah. Reznor. I'm afraid of Americans. I'm gonna look it up because I I'd like to know. But either way, I'm with you on this uh, vacation. Yeah, man. We go to some crazy places. I want to go to Hiroshima. And just dance around like, saw y'all motherfuckers fucked up, huh? <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck up. I couldn't do Look that. Look at you. You fucked up. <laughs> I think they're good now, man. I think they I think they have it figured out. What you did wrong that you got this. <laughs> I just danced, dancing around, hammer dancing across all of Hiroshima going, oh, 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 oh. Hammer, stop. You're done fucked up. <laughs> Put it in their face. Yeah, that's man, fun. I get it. It says yeah. it's just a song by David Bowie. All right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> yeah, I'm afraid of America. That's what they'd be singing in in Hiroshima. Oh yeah. When you when you were hammer dancing down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing that song there. I'm um, Canadian. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, oh, I didn't either. Yeah. I wasn't born. 
No, I no, you weren't. Also, had, people I who had, were boys. I had a hand in it. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever hear that Neil Diamond story? No. One of my favorite stories ever. I think you were there when they told oh, about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my favorite story. The Boston bombing happened, right? And then they would do like a baseball game like the next day. Neil Diamond goes, huh? Gets in his car, j- drives to Boston, <laughs> just shows up to the Boston. To sing Sweet and Caroline. Goes, and he goes, I'm here to sing. And they go, what? Man. And they're like, yeah, I'm here to sing. And they're like, you can't. And he goes, what do you mean? I'm Neil Diamond. I sing. And he goes, yeah, but you got to like plan this shit out. They weren't going to let him do it? He, well, he didn't call anybody. Yeah, but it's his song they play every seventh inning. Yeah. If he shows up to sing it, let him fucking sing it. That's what I'm saying. You, you let Neil I mean? in. I, I'm 100%. Cosby but, shows wait. up to a comedy club. He goes on. Hey, but it's he true. showed up to Fenway Park, or yeah. he just showed up to Boston. I think he just he just <laughs> showed up to the I tall. Think he just he showed up the tall guy. Yeah, oh, I think he just showed I, up I, to I, Boston. Uh, I thought you meant Fenway. I thought no. it was Fenway. He just drove into Boston. I think he drove into Boston to be like, Mike? "What can I do?" Really, I don't I, remember. Oh, I don't I thought know. It was Fenway Park? No, it's oh, gotta man. be Fenway. I'm sure, it is. They play. Yeah, but I to their thing, they are like, "Look, we get your Neil Diamond." We did book a person. Yeah. We, we have a whole. There are a series it's the ninth of things inning, dude. they don't need book to anybody. Yeah. They play Sweet for Caroline. For the national anthem? Not the national anthem. Sweet Caroline. Oh, have you ever oh. been to a game in Fenway? No. Every ba, seventh ba. inning, they play Sweet Caroline. Oh, okay. So if Neil Diamond shows up to sing it live, he fucking goes on. But they might not even have like the proper music or uh, they microphones. They have an announcer guy. Put him in the booth. Put no, him, they get him in the booth. Do it. It's not going to sound great, maybe, but let him fucking do it. Let him sing. I, I just love that he drove in. Yeah, on I his own. Driving, yeah. Driving he didn't, in. Didn't just angry. fly. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eating Twinkies. Yeah. I'm Neil. The I'm out the window. Talking to himself the whole way. I'm Neil. I'm my way. Got to sing to my people. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not Neil Gold. I'm not Neil Platinum. <laughs> I'm Neil Diamond. <laughs> That's another thing I wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Flat Earth. Okay. Diamond Earth. Oh, all right. I don't I'm know what on that board. Means yet, but I think Earth is a diamond shape. Makes more sense. That's why there's dips and curt crevices. I interesting. Earth is a diamond. I thought I'm starting to think that it's shaped like an octagon. Oh, the octagon. Earth. And the oh, reason yeah. is because MMA gets bigger and bigger every year. Where right. do they fight? Octagon. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. And, and now that's another thing, man. We've been fighting for years as a people that's on planet saying. Earth. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. It's, it's a microcosm for what it right, is. Right, it's right. It's people fighting people inside of an octagon, which is what we do day in, day out. Maybe it's still Hell a circle, yeah, but maybe it's just a squared circle. Holy fuck. You know? So it's a ring. It might be a ring. I, we, I was saying this to James before, uh, 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 your, your guys' roommate, good friend of everybody. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, yeah, we the, 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 the world right now kind of is a ring, and we are in a seven billion man Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your number's going to get called. You know, every yeah. two minutes, the countdown, it's another. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Our numbers are coming. Yeah. And uh, you're going to have to then go fist fight whoever the fuck in some bloody fiery rage over gasoline or whatever. Oh, you yeah. You know what's some shit, man? The people who were in the hero. Hiroshima, like for real, yeah, probably thought it was the end of the world. You know, they were like, "Fuck it, at least I'm here for the end of the world." Then they died, you know, and uh, now it's like, "Fuck, it wasn't even the end of the world." And then you're looking down, like, "Oh, come on!" Yeah, I thought I was there for the end. I didn't get to, I didn't get to hold that. I didn't uh-huh. get to do that. Look at these tits now. Yeah, they've made tits so much better. <laughs> Fake fuck. asses. I mean, my god, <laughs> that's fucked up. Did we drop the nuclear bomb? That's crazy. I get why we did it. Right. I get well, why you did. <laughs> I know, yeah, but I yeah, mean, like, if you free, think man. about doing that, that's like no, just in, 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 in all seriousness, just in general, that anybody did that at all, let alone twice. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that part, yeah. twice, twice. Yeah. within like forty five minutes. Fucked him hard. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it was within forty five. I think it was like nine days or some really like a month. It was something yeah, like no, that. I thought it was yeah. boom boom. They started. To, they started to be like, oh, it's over. Let me yeah. uh, start to rebuild. Oh no! And then just. <laughs> dead again. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. What was it? Ha! Nagasaki, motherfucker! You got who got! <laughs> you got who got. <laughs> then you got them. Yeah, pretty pretty crazy. It's pretty rough. Yeah, the idea yeah. that anybody made a uh, nuclear bomb at all, you know, they're yeah. not good. So the whole world is scary well, now they, because they, of it. They did that by accident, right? They were trying to do something good and then they stumbled on that? Yeah, but then it also became like they is were like... true? I don't know. Well, they were the, the Manhattan Project, you know, and the Einstein yeah. or something. something. I think they were also like, if we don't do it, then someone else will. Right, so right, So we had to get there first. I don't know. See, that's the big fear, right? I used to hang out with uh, friends of mine that sold drugs, yeah. right? Uh-huh. So they sold weed and stuff. And they'd always have... A friend of mine had a knife for a while because he was like, people are trying to get me and they might have a knife. And just, you know, random. And then he goes, well, I got to get a gun because yeah. what if they have a gun? Right. And go... 
But if everybody, if we, you know, if everybody didn't have this, if you didn't have that fear, then nobody would have anything. Right. And the only thing he could do is fight people. Right. Which is the gentleman way to do it. But even why? Because it's like a fighting. It's like, well, if I'm not a good fighter. Oh so well, I can't then that, sell but that's, drugs now. But see, exactly. No, you couldn't. That's the law of the land. That's yeah, why I get a gun. That's the strong. Well, now there I you sell go. Drugs. Now everybody has a gun, and here we go. Now I get a bomb. I want to see a drug dealer who's got a bomb. Somebody does <laughs> for just sure. Like, Come in my house with yeah. that. Oh, absolutely. I got a, drug I got a, dealers with grenades. Yep. Easily. Yeah. Easily. I'm talking missile. I'm talking patriot missile. Tomahawk in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> Smart missile. You fuck with me, I'm gonna shoot this, blast this baby off. I mean, that I, is crazy to me that there are. Um, Cartels and drug dealers who have as much ammunition or weaponry as some countries. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, that's a whole country. That's what we got for our military. And this is a guy named Devin yeah. who lives in the Bronx. Yeah, and he's got they got the same thing. Guards. So crazy. Sometimes better. Sometimes better. I will say though, what I like, and I don't know if this is uh, just amongst these like uh, Latin drug dealers in the past. I love that they get uh, exotic animals. Yeah. Scarface got a tiger yeah, that he used yeah. to ride around with. Yeah. Pablo Escobar had a whole zoo. He had like, what was it, like a thing that he had rhinos that nobody else had or something? <laughs> I don't there know. There was something where the animals that he had only, uh, you know, he had more of them than like there were in the world or something. Yeah. Let me funny ask you this. If that'd be funny if that's how you figured out your neighbor was a drug dealer. He's got a bunch of, he's got a bunch of elephants walking through his backyard. <laughs> There's no way he's an accountant. Something's up with that. <laughs> yeah. I see him go to work every day at 8 a.m., but, I mean, this doesn't check out. <laughs> yeah. After I'm on taxes. The, and... I'm on the roof getting a tan. i got yeah. a giraffe staring I'm at sorry, me. I'm sorry, Mr. You Gonzalez. This. Your uh, uh, gazelle wandered into my <laughs> yard again. Yeah. You're a, 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 a Colombian drug lord, right? Or take Colombian out of it because sure. he, he was Colombian is why sure. I said it. But let's just say drug you're a lord. drug lord, right? Uh-huh. you got a whole bunch of acres. You're getting blown whenever you want, Okay. You also have giraffes, gazelles, rhinos, right? Mm-hmm. At what point, or do you, this is the question, do you one day have sex with one of the animals? No, nah, I don't think so. Here's day one. one. What? Day one, baby. Day one? Show dominance. Dead. What? That thing will kill you. Tiger, you fuck a tiger, I'll kill you. No, Show you, you give him a sleeping pill. You they, they rape drop, a tiger? You're not, not raping. Pass me a driver? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not raping. You can't rape a tiger. Yes, you can. You're not consenting. You can't. It's not consent. They well, consent then they're every... not, not consenting. I'll tell you how you consented, tiger, by walking on this earth. I'm better than you. <laughs> That's how you grape a tiger. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> grape a tiger. It's good rape. This is ridiculous. But you, you uh, not tigers. I'm talking like a, like a rhino, like a hippo. Okay. Horse. Okay. Giraffe. Sure. Have you ever touched a giraffe? An elegant animal. You ever touched a giraffe? No, I haven't. They're fucking, they're pretty cool. They're yeah? Like, they're, yeah, they got long tongues. Yeah, oh, weird. yeah. Believes. I have seen that up close. Mm-hmm. I've never touched one, but a uh, uh, great adventure. They would come up to the window yeah. close. They got real yeah. long tongues. South Africa, I got to pet one, and they're they're real, uh, like, coarse. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I mean, that ass. So what I'm saying <laughs> is... You're a drug lord. Yeah. Laws don't apply to you. You've had sex with all the women. You can okay. ship them in, fuck them, ship sure. them out. You, you're out in your yard one day. You see that giraffe just swaying back and forth in the wind. I mean, do you walk over one day? You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. me say this. You say day one. You say no. Let me say this. I'm not, I've am not. i never seen a giraffe I wanted to fuck. You're not looking at the right ones. But I was going to say that too, man. You clearly haven't. Like, they're sexy animals. they got big eyes. Have you ever looked at a giraffe? Yeah, I look at them. Long but if eyelashes. I do. they got long eyelashes. Red if lipstick. I, you know, if I long see it, legs. She's got legs. Can I finish this in? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lesson here to teach. I never close the door on anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're if, a s- sexual man. I'm a sexual man. I'm open to every door. Sure. If a giraffe walks into my room, my, my room of sexual lovings, I'll fuck a giraffe. I'll fuck a man. So, so you're saying anything. if you're a drug lord, the giraffe has to come to you? Emotionally. <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh, I the draft like, does one of those things like in a cartoon where it sticks its neck in your window. Right. And you're yeah. like, oh, hello, giraffe. Yeah. yeah. And now you're getting blown by a giraffe. That long tongue, that'll do, that'll do, see, that'll do damage to your dick, though, because that's the coarse. The, the, the dick, the tongue is coarse. It's no, not it's like not. a softy. It's not a softy tongue. It's a, it's a, it's a, that's it's an outdoor like, tongue. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but it's not <laughs> like, it's kind of, I'd say rigid is the word. It's not like a, but it's soft it's like gonna a It's going to be tongue. like sandpaper, man. No, it's not going to be like sandpaper. I, I fed one. They, they're, they're, no, no, it's not going to be like sandpaper. Really? Let me tell you something. A giraffe could wrap its tongue around your dick three or four times. So now you're getting blown by like, what, mm. four people or a giraffe? I yeah. mean, it's like, it's like, all I'm saying is, mm. when you've got all the money in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually... You're going to start thinking about having sex with your exotic animals. Yeah, but I would do other things before I did animals. 
Well, of course. You yeah. know, like I build robots. Fuck robots. I I want to fuck food. You know, you, can, uh-huh. you fuck the Today. food and then you eat the food. Jesus Christ! Why, why you to eat it after yeah, you have sex? Yeah. Show dominance. That's what it's about. To your own food. Look, uh, let this be a lesson. Oh, you thought, like plants? <laughs> I thought you were going along the lines of you love food so much. You fuck it. That you fuck it. As you, that's the next logical step. That makes sense. Greg, you can fuck food today. Nobody's yeah, gonna stop but not high end lobster tails. You could easily. Yeah, you lobster could. Tail. No, because I'd be it's grossed like out by it. It's sixteen dollars for a lobster tail. You could you could fuck the hell out of yeah, that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'll do that. I'll say. I mean, that's probably cheaper than a prostitute. Oh, way cheaper. If you're going sure. along the lines of, wow, that's you're spending a lot on lobster. Well, if you were going to do that with a woman, I don't know the prices, but I yep. assume they're pretty high. Plus, I would set up different types of wet rooms, right? I'll uh-huh. build a wet room, you know, where everything is soft and wet, <laughs> and you stick your dick in anything, and you're just feeling around anything. Everything feels soft and wet. Everyone's in there. People are talking. Also, when you have sex with a lobster and then uh-huh. kill it directly after so your wife doesn't find out and leave it in the woods, cops don't come looking for you. Yeah. The cops go, well, you, you fucked a lobster? Yeah, we get You do. can leave a dead lobster in a red roof inn and nobody cares. You know what I mean? You leave a dead hooker in a red roof inn, excuse me, a <laughs> lot of questions coming your way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point. the thing. How many lobsters dead do you have to leave in a red roof inn before they call somebody? 20. Minimum 20. And yeah. if then, I don't even know. Red roof inn is, is, is red They'll roof terrible. They'll let some terrible. things slide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be more excited there's lobster at a red roof inn. They'll charge a credit card probably for cleanup, though. <laughs> They'll be like, this is the first Psyched. time lobster has ever been near a red roof inn. <laughs> yeah, we got to cook these bad boys. Tell them we got some specials for yeah, the next couple good. months. Red, have you ever stayed at a red roof inn? I don't know that I have. I uh, remember Martin Mall doing the commercials for Red Roof Inn. That was it. Daddy, I stayed at a Red Roof Inn, San Antonio, Texas. I was down there looking for Shawn Michaels. It was <laughs> one of the worst nights of my entire life. If I had had 20 lobsters to pound and leave dead in a room, I easily, easily would have done it. I'm pretty sure it was a Red Roof Inn I stayed in. With I was with uh, Joe Mackey. Okay. I go into the I think I, f- I feel like I'm getting bit. I flip over the mattress, bugs all on the mattress. I call the guy. I go, hey, man, you got bed bugs. He comes in. He goes, these aren't bed bugs. These are just all regular bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of the story. Closed case. I had to sleep with it. It wouldn't give no me a new room. Way. Yeah. He like, said, yeah, I, I will not bugs. give you a new room. I was like, well, I need a room. I was like, he almost shamed me into being like, well, can I get another room? He was like, well, it's not bed bugs. It's just regular bugs. These are simply bugs on a bed. Where <laughs> yeah. was this? Where was this? <laughs> That's insane. I was, in, uh, I was working all the Omojo's Comedy Cellar. In, uh, it's the Comedy Cellar in it's Cleveland. Comedy Cellar West. In Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah, Mojo's Comedy Cellar. It's called Mojo's? Mojo's Comedy Cellar. Mojo Razor. Yeah. They just play that. <laughs> and they, uh, That's insane, The hotel dude. we stayed in was like gross. I was getting, I got bit up. And then it was just like, ah, not bed bugs. I can't believe Regular that. bugs. That's disgraceful. Live <laughs> yeah, live with it, bro. The last That's... guy that uh, slept in here, he, he was cool with it. He ate some of them. <laughs> That's how I always feel like uh, about certain hotels. There's a uh, place in New Orleans I stayed at once where it was known haunted hotel. Why isn't there a discount? Mostly, you gotta get the discount or charge me more. It's probably more money. Oh. I, I would assume it costs more money because really? so, oh, of course, so many people want to be jerked oh. off by a ghost. <laughs> yeah. So many people yeah. just sit there rock hard at night. Oh, like, yeah. Come on. Ghostophiliacs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghostophiliacs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, this used to be a joke I used to want to tell. Sure. But I, tell that's it. the thing about the reason there, the reason ghosts can't be can't exist is that it'd be too many ghosts. Too crowded. It'd be too crowded. Yeah, people yeah, wouldn't be able yeah. to walk around. We They'd be bumping into each other. 80 billion gajillion people have died. You get, you're seeing three ghosts right. a year, tops. Well, the whole point of a ghost, though, is that some of them die and... Uh, they're not either either not ready to die or they don't know. How many dead. people are ready to die? I don't think anyone dies ready to die. Biggie was ready. Yeah, he was yeah. ready to die. He's the only one. But <laughs> but some people, I, I guess the whole the whole thing about is that like some people don't uh, they don't go towards the light or they fucking go they take a left when you're supposed to take a right. How die. many people? That's like an idiot. How many idiots do you think die a day? A lot of exactly. Yeah, yeah. it would be yeah, shoulder yeah. to shoulder with ghosts. They'd be shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. So this whole room right now would be like six ghosts. They'd all be crammed in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a hundred people from the last hundred years in this room alone have yeah, died. Yeah, but they can't. They got no. Um, they're not bumping into each other because they're walking through walls and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, But still, yeah. you'd see them. You'd see them. You'd, you'd see ne- too you'd many ghosts. You'd never have a, 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 a comfortable piss. No. Yeah. You know, you'd never. You'd be like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Every stall yeah. jammed with ghosts. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's how I always think, too, when uh, they're haunting somewhere and then, you know, they build uh, something stupid on that land. Yeah. You never see them haunting uh, Home Depot. 
exactly. in the aisles. You never see that. No. What do they only want? What homes? Homes. They mainly do homes. Old theaters. Yeah. Homes, theaters, theaters. Homes. Hotels. hotels yeah. Ops, castles. Castles. Maybe hospitals. I don't know. That's a stretch. Yeah. Some workplace situations, but cemeteries. Cemetery. They no, do you, cemeteries because they're lazy. You'd think then in a cemetery you'd see billions of ghosts. Well, or at least yeah. one. I mean, you, your your bed's right there. Yeah, you just you're going, going to, to bed. bed you know yeah, yeah, I guess that. That's your. You, you, you know, I don't see you doing stand up in here. I mean, I got a microphone in my hand right now. That is very true. <laughs> you are seventy five percent there right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what how hauntings work. I wonder if it's the place you are at the most often. Yeah. And what outfit do work? you get? Like what you die mm. in, right? I don't know. I think what you if you were if if I die right now, this is what I'd be walking around in. So the is that afterlife. why they try to put people in suits and dresses? I don't know. So that way when they come back they at least look nice? That's it. I want to that's why I bury me in a bathing suit with a towel around my neck. Right, yeah. If I'm gonna be, be around no, for no, the rest no, of mean, eternity, I wanna be in a bathing suit. I mean how yeah. you how you die. Not how they buried your body. Whatever uh-huh. you died in. Oh right, right, I right. Think right. That's that's what you float up into, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's so why like a, a taquito in your hand. Right. And then yeah. you just walk around with a taquito for yeah. the rest of fucking eternity. And that's yeah, why. Where does that end? Also, too, it's a good idea to always be, you know, comfortable underwear, comfy clothes. Yeah. Because now you're in that you're forever. In oh yeah. You don't want to be in a ill-fitting, you know, itchy, itchy sweater. Sweater. Those you don't want to be in chucks like, ah, either. There's oh, no God. soles in yeah. those. You're a comfortable around, shoe. A comfortable shoe. You want a comfortable shoe. You're walking yeah. around in chucks forever. I mean, that's brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mm-hmm. fucking dogs are barking. Pair of wing ticks. Wing tips. Wing tips. You know, I, I actually don't tips. know what a wing tip is. I always hear them. I always say it, but are I don't they, know what it are means. Are they a pointy shoe? Yeah, it's a dress shoe. Oh, I know it's a dress shoe, but I don't know what it means. It's like the the the, 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 the pointy the pointy uh, shoe. Yeah, yeah. That's dumb. Pointy. I hate pointy shoes. I like a smooth shoe. You know, smooth on the outside. Yeah, yeah. Or a yeah. flip flop. I never understood that. Why a tie makes you more professional? Why we just I don't know on any of that. Yeah, what do you mean? Give me a bathing suit. That's more professional. Right, why isn't that the thing? Well, I'll say certain places that is looked up as professional. And if you wear a tie, you're very out of place. When I lived in Hawaii, nobody wore suits and ties. If you were wearing a suit and tie, you were a Japanese businessman there to cut a deal. Good. Everybody else, Hawaiian shirt, shorts, and if you weren't, you're a suspect in a crime. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Did you ever run into Dog the Bounty Hunter out there? Uh, yes. We were at a 7-Eleven once together. Funny. Really? Yep. Wow. Did, he get, did he get the perp? Uh, no, nah, he got the soda. That's that what he the got that day. that day. Yeah, that's the fun thing I don't know, Anthony. Whenever he's telling the truth, the story always goes nowhere. <laughs> you know, like if you're like, he's like, ah, I ran out of dog bounty hunter. Be like, oh yeah, he, and he was with a bunch of dogs, and they were talking. It's like, okay, that's a lie. They dog bounty. You meet him. He goes, yep, that's it. And he won't tell you about what happened. Dude, well, that's I, all that happened. Can I tell you when he first came out, which yeah. is like 13 years ago yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that show was on. Oh, I man. used to watch the show every Tuesday. And can I Me tell too. you, this does, I don't know how this, whatever, his wife, mm-hmm. I Beth, mm-hmm. I when I was 18, I was super fucking attracted to Beth, I don't man. remember. I, you know, Dude. I like that you said that because she's a chesty gal. Dude. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was so gaudy. Teased yeah, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best. She had fingerless gloves with yeah. giant nails. Yeah, I, like, I, I got look her up. I would sleep with this lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was always yeah. running around driving big trucks. Yeah, people yeah, off. yeah, yeah. She was like, Sit I know the what you mean. Down. Yep. Oh yeah. Big fan of this. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. Huge. Chest. I uh, totally into it, man. Were you? Yeah. I was. I, I you would and I school. share similar sensibilities. I would, we do. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I would go to school and tell people they're like, "What are you talking about?" She's no, I remember that. Yeah, man. I go, "No, dude, fingerless gloves." Mm-hmm. Look at the nails. I she love looked, it. Yeah, like every uh, Long Island woman yeah. that I oh would be God. into. Yeah. Can I get a picture of her real quick? Because I don't even remember. Bring her up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago, dude. Just like someone who'd be related to Anthony. Years ago. <laughs> Looks like one of his moms Can we get her aunts? with the gloves, though? <laughs> get, get her on the job. Because she had a, she he, had a vest, she was gloves. She, had, she sometimes wore an American flag bandana uh, in her hair. Like, a, as a, wow. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. He should have been a wrestler, man. Like a, should have been like a hot wore, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he wore these jackets. Oh yeah, with oh no my undershirt. God, yeah, no, no, I, unbelievable. Like Bret Hart. His his Just look like was Hart. crazy for a pedestrian. Yeah, for an average <laughs> citizen, it is unacceptable for you to look like that. Yeah, you need to be in a band or the Intercontinental <laughs> Champion. The only two ways that works. Yeah. Not even a bounty hunter gets no. away with that. He did no. it though. Yeah, for years. No, Until both he... vest, no vest. Yeah. 
Well, that's the thing, because that's such a profession where I don't think, and I think probably with a lot of people, they thought it was a myth as a profession. Yeah. You know Boba Fett. Sure. And then you know uh, Boba Fett. Blade. What, what was another bounty hunter? Not Blade. Blade fought <laughs> vampires. It was a vampire hunter. Yeah. Uh, a hunter. But yeah, so like as a profession, it's a myth. So you have there's no archetype we know. Yeah. yeah. So then you got dog who comes along and he goes, "I'm going to create it." Yeah. This is the way bounty hunters look. Well, I think he may have said, "Why are you a bounty hunter?" Well, I always wanted to dress this way. <laughs> you know, right, like right, I never right. want to wear a tie. Yeah. You know Come what on. I mean? You know, I'm into it. I'm 18. This woman's flopping oh, around God. Hawaii. I was. Yeah. Uh, Wow! Why? How yeah. many bounties are in Hawaii? I get lost in that chest. Oh, I never come back. Why are there so many bounties in Hawaii? There, you know? Oh my God! Why are there so many bounties shop. in Hawaii? I'll take a couple. What? Why are there so many bounties in Hawaii? Why are there so many bounties, bounties in Hawaii? Everywhere. Because you can't get off the island. What? The if you commit a crime in Hawaii, you're stuck on the island. So it's it's it, you got to chase people down. Where it's like if you commit a crime in Wisconsin, you could flee. You could go. So, dog wasn't necessarily a good bounty hunter. He, it was probably no. the easiest level because it's just yes. like, well, no one could go. A hundred percent. But that's why it's more of a commodity there than it is other places. I think, and that's it. I'm a bounty <laughs> hunter in this room. Yeah, that's why they had that show Hawaii Five O, which I never got into. And my mom brought up a good point. She said, "Well, they can't get off the island." Yeah, you get a boat. Go to the other island. Yeah, but you know, plane. you got your family there. You got, you got, you got. I have my family here. IDs, you got all kinds of stuff you, you got to deal with. Can you just get? You can't just get a boat and boat off Hawaii, yeah. right? Those, I mean, especially, these places are far as hell. There's yeah, sharks. Especially that maybe there's a warrant out for your arrest. You know sure. what I mean? There's a lot of things involved. Imagine boating from Hawaii through the Pacific Ocean it's, to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It's far. You'd be oh god, that's yeah. far. Yeah, yeah. You're how, smack dab in the middle of nowhere. How hard do you think that is? Very hard. hard. We have technology. We have technology. Yeah, but if you're Your fleeing, you know, I, if you're fleeing somewhere, you're not getting top-notch stuff. You're not getting – if you get a let's, – let's go ro- – let's just say rowboat. Yeah. yeah. Rowboat from Hawaii. Oh, I was talking like a houseboat or something. Okay, like a houseboat. Let's go <laughs> yeah, houseboat. Yeah. yeah. Houseboat. Hawaii to Japan. Yeah. You need so many provisions, man. You need barrels of You need oil, one of fishing gas. pole. No. You need barrels of gas. And a sail. So now you want to sail. You're in a sailboat. I got a, I got a uh, sail on my houseboat. <laughs> okay. We're mixing up boats here. Let's go sailboat. All right, we'll go sailboat. You're still talking the Pacific Ocean? I mean, how long are we talk? What are we even going to guess? Hawaii to Japan. Uh, Two weeks? 40 days, 40 nights. Three, Two weeks, three, three weeks, weeks something in like a that. fucking, on a sail? Yeah. Well, I you got sharks? Yeah. Sharks ain't getting through the boat. They're not jumping in the boat with a gun. What if there's a storm, bro? Storm, pirate issue. Pirates is a thing that they're just pirates hanging around. So what are the pirates on doing? The seas the pirates are out there. Waters, pirates are everywhere, man. That's what I'm saying. If the pirates are doing it, why can't I do it? That's a pirate's job. Yeah, You're man. Just doing it as a lark. Yeah, yeah. I got a sniper rifle though. I'll get one. I'll shoot them pirates. So now you're talking about if we're boating from Hawaii to Japan in Grand Theft Auto, yeah. which is very feasible. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen. I guess it's. I guess. Can't I just stay on the ocean forever? Can the next Grand Theft Auto be Grand Theft Auto I World? Like that. Yeah. Well, it should have been. It's just very hard to mix two big worlds. It's going to be that big. But well, even New York City or in LA, when they did it, they shrink it down, right? But wouldn't that be sick? Yeah. The world? I would love it, man. I want to go on a spaceship to the moon. I'm with you. Just let me go to the moon yep. for one, one episode. You know, I want to yep. be on the moon, hanging out, driving a little rover around. We'll find out for once and for all if this thing... Uh, You're on five stars, cops are chasing you to the moon? Yep. <laughs> and we'll find out if it's a conspiracy theory or not. Are there yeah. more up we there? We talked right. about that. We should do flat... Then we, we learn it's flat Earth. Grand or is it a planet. diamond Earth? Or is it an octagon Earth? We finally get to Rim the bottom world. of this thing. Yeah. Might even be a golden arches Earth. Oh. Uh, is pretty big, too. I, I gotta yeah. say this about Grand Theft Auto. The thing always pisses me off. I want to be a good guy. I know that seems lame, but let me do the option of being a cop for a little while. Well, you can't. Or arresting people in that one game. It was vigilante mode. It was the only one. No, no, no. Well, uh, which, which game? Because remember some it of them like, you could go in and read the little thing and then arrest guys or hunt them down? That was you could in, drive a cab. You could drive the ambulance. That was in Red Dead Redemption. They didn't have that mode in Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm one sure. of them you could do vigilante mode where you'd kill yeah. whatever. But I wish they let me have that mode in every game where I can just go... Find criminals, arrest them. I like it too. You Picking know, up people in the cab. I was at a good time. So fun. And the ambulance was fun. Oh yeah, I love yeah. a neutral occupation. Yeah, nothing too dangerous. The cop yeah. is fun though. Going to hunt down criminals, it's a good time. That is one thing about Grand Theft Auto that they'll come up with all these wicked things, and then the next game they go, "Hey, remember some of that stuff? We got rid of it, but we got new stuff." And you go, "Can we just keep all that and bring and in plus new more? stuff?" Zombie mode. Grand Theft Auto Four should have a, or Five should have zombie mode. 
chainsaw. Yeah. What about chainsaw. a sensible dad who just he someone takes his shoes, and that's his whole the whole game is him trying to just get his shoes back. Grand that sh- mode. Grand shoe auto. That's the whole game. Grand theft shoes. <laughs> this guy trying to get his shoes back. Yeah. Not buy new shoes. No, he's got no money. Grand theft he just shoe, gave buddy. his kid ten bucks to so go to the arcade. All right. So the whole thing is just the him trying arcade. to get his shoes back. I yeah. love a, guy, a dad telling his kid now, here's 10 bucks, go to the arcade. That kid would spit in his eyes. <laughs> Just, yeah, you got fun. What's that? You got, you got cool. got. You have arcades growing up? Got. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. The arcade was fun, but always, always salty humans there. I there were always the some arcade. scum at this arcade. Oh, so yeah? Always, yeah. You know. Sleazies. Yeah. That's how, yeah, my family went to Vegas in uh, eighth grade. Yeah. I couldn't get into any of the casinos, so my mom and I just would go to the arcade. She would take me to the arcades every day, and I would just watch Japanese teenagers just annihilate each other oh. on Killer Instinct. Oh, Killer Instinct. I was going to say, one of the best arcade games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You Beowulf? Like no, not Beowulf. His name is just Wolf, right? Werewolf? Werewolf. Yeah, I think so. He's my favorite character. Yeah. Glacier? Glacier. Yeah. The little pirate guy, the little mm-hmm. pirate bone man. I remember the primal guy. I remember thinking of primal fear. You meant primal rage? Primal rage. Oh, primal that rage. Was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're a raptor mm-hmm. fighting a cow. Big so ape cool. versus a fucking dinosaur. Cool. The little people beside cheering. Yeah. Them. yeah. I had yeah. a game called, like, it was like Universal Champions or some shit, where it was just people like champions and they fought each other. It was not that great. It was for Genesis. But best I- arcade game. What are your favorite arcade game? NBA Jam, I had a lot of fun playing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. No, you can keep going. I didn't mean to cut no, you off. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I think maybe NBA Jam or the Arcade or X-Men, just because that X-Men was like a full so day. X-Men. You can beat it in X-Men. a couple hours. You play it with a couple of people. They're yeah. your best friends for those two yeah. hours. Yep. You're a team. I That's love what that. I like, man. You had bonding with people. Yeah. Because you guys are on the same team. Yeah. And you start bonding and shit. Yeah. This guy's your friend. Yeah. Black and white. Men and women. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Magneto. He matters. That's why I didn't like Street Fighter because now this guy's my enemy. Right. I yeah. like being friends. I love a team game. Yeah. I, I don't best. know what it was called, but I think it was called like uh, Mortal Kombat was a wicked one. Oh, yeah. Also, though, WrestleMania. Oh, WrestleMania. yeah. Game. Oh, my God. What a good, for a what quarter. A, yes. You get to be the ultimate fucking oh, warrior. Man. Yeah. For a quarter. For a quarter, And dude. it looked cool. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Sergeant Slaughter, yeah, body man. slamming I Hulk only Hogan. remember Big Boss Man. Because he was ripping around that in that yeah. top outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My favorite, though, of all time, Afterburner. Remember Afterburner? Oh, you know, yeah. I like the plane. Afterburner because you're inside yes. a little you'd thing. You'd be in a little plane. It would move around, and you're flying a fucking – you're doing Top Gun. Yeah. I that love a game fun. where – exactly. There's like a cockpit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Daytona. Daytona where oh. you're like – you're, I'm transported to a different world yeah. around me. Yep. Not yeah. just in the game, but physically. You ever do that Jurassic Park gun game? Oh, yeah. So you're in the hard. truck? Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah, it love, hard, but that's love it. fun. Yeah, I'm with I it. like Time Crisis, too. Yeah. Time Crisis Step on the thing, you duck under. That was so... That, like, the changed everything. Like, I was Crisis like, was this awesome. is revolutionary. This yeah, yeah, is so yeah. cool. Time Crisis. Me and my brother would love just time get, real, get real fucking real. Yeah. <laughs> it was super real. You could... You could you can really, you know, you, you can use your mannerisms, cop mannerisms you always wanted to use, you know? <laughs> they got a new one now. You got to check this out. Star Wars. Uh-huh. You get in this big-ass bubble, and you got, you're got you fucking doing the Kessel Run. You're, you're, you're shooting. You're pod racing. No, you're shooting X-Wings. You're an X-Wing. You're shooting TIE Whoa, Fighters. Oh, no you're way. You're flying all around. These things are coming. It's 360 oh, degrees around Jesus you. Jesus Christ. So you're looking this? around. Dave and Buster's. We should go to Dave and Buster's tonight. It's like $5 to play. Really? I was going to say it must be. But it's so great. How long do you get to play? Not as long as you want. Yeah. Oh, I'm it's in. I want to go. Kind of yeah, me too. I'd go. Let's go. Where's Dave and Buster's? Times Dav- Square? Dav- Dav- oh, Times Square. There is one Times Square. I would go. We could go right after this. No, I got to eat dinner. After you go to dinner. I got to go eat dinner. You gotta eat dinner? We eat dinner. Maybe later on tonight I go to Dave and Buster's. I go to Dave. I gotta open oh you got shows. Yeah. You I got one open show. night ahead of me. I got one show and Oh, we're at New York Comedy Club. Oh, what time? Ten or Ooh. eleven or some shit. We're gonna meet up after. That cuts into some D and B time. Yeah, it does. Well maybe we'll meet up after. Maybe we can still see some titties. Oh hell. Yeah, Man, yeah. I didn't even t- I didn't even go to a strip club in Montreal. I don't think I care uh, much about strip clubs anymore, but I do want to see titties. I gotta see a titty, man. God, they're good. Yeah, I'd love uh, to have a beer and oh, them yeah. be in the background. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, I love Tita, but sure, I love Julia. We're in a, we're in Look, a, man, we're let me tell you what's pretty good though. Is a, a, we're on a, 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 a slump. A tit covered in like some kind of coconut butter. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. They smell strippers. Smell great. Not oh, all. Of them. That's really the thing. It's the smell. Oh my god. The smell gets you going. Doesn't leave your clothes for they weeks. They know what's going it's on. Great. They know what's happening. They know what they're doing. Sparkles. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
They know to leave a mark. Yeah. Sparkles, yeah. smell. Like yeah. a shiny woman. So it's on you. You get used to I it. That's why I pee on them. Like a lion. <laughs> I go, this is my, this is where, I mark my territory. Oh. I pee on the house. I didn't realize lions did that. I thought it was like a dog thing. I didn't think it was a cat thing. Lion peed on my brother at the zoo. Really? I swear to God. I swear to God. How'd your brother get close enough for that to happen? I don't even understand how the physics work on this, but I swear to God. Sure. Lion backs up to, okay. the, ca- to the cage, because uh-huh. he's got his bar cages, yeah. and just pisses Right through the gate. Love it. Right on my brother. Love it. King of the Jungle, man. To this man. day, we still laugh about it. That must it. have been a ton of piss, man. Yeah. A ton of piss. Yeah. Dude, I love that that line just goes, you want to watch me all day? How about this? Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Here's my goddamn piss. Yeah. Piss right <laughs> on It's going to suck to be in a zoo, man, as a, as a, especially a big cat. Big cat. Or yeah. an ape. Uh-huh. You're, out, you're out there supposed to be cracking nuts or fucking hunting gazelles, and, and you just see some loser in plaid shorts glaring at you. Yep, throwing oh, yeah. bread at you. Some you fucking, like bread. Some dummy with a camera just looking at yep. you, and you're like, if this was the real world, I would murder you and your family. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I got to sit here and be glared at. You guys got any plugs? You were at, uh, I'm, I'm still doing the four weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I got a four-week run in Raleigh. Where? When's your album coming out? Oh, uh, August 18th. But that's not as important as my of course uh, not. three and a half weeks that I am doing a uh, collective amount of dates that I'm doing at uh, Chico's uh, Dinosaur Emporium down in uh, Toledo, Ohio, where you can see me and um, a couple of uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes, all for the price of a cool $75 a day. It's a great price. Mm-hmm. I'm, in, uh, I'm in Raleigh. <laughs> right, and it's the old uh, Ric Flair's Gold's Gym, Ooh. and it's uh, it's now just an empty sort of warehouse. But I just go in there and scream uh, six to seven every single day <laughs> until yeah. uh, I have a residency <laughs> at an old abandoned warehouse. <laughs> so you know, come see me if you're in North Carolina. At, uh, check out uh, nathanmacintosh dot com for the exact uh, yeah coordinates, right. or just nathan dot com. Yeah, you're right. Well, I lost Macintosh. 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 Christ, I gotta get Nathan.com. <laughs> That's a big power move. Nathan.com. Oh, I'm uh listen, I've been working real hard on my Instagram. So guys, could you just do me a favor, please follow me on Instagram. I just I'm just trying to get more Instagram followers. My name is